Good morning, Jeffrey Friedman, Senior Commodity Broker with RJO Futures with morning comments on Stock Index Futures. Today is August 22nd. Well, I always give you the word of the day. I'm going to give you two today. The first one is Japan, and the second one is the FOMC minutes. Now, let's go back to Japan. Their deficit widened. Export import was off balance, which implies that China is slowing down and they're not moving products as well as they want to, moving out of the country, sucking in money. So that was a disappointment. But let's even rewind just 12 hours earlier. We made a new high in the stock markets in general, um, and then we sold off. Yesterday was Tuesday, turnaround Tuesday as a little phrase, and we did get that going back into the close. So we did close lower, and what that represents on a technical point of view, in my opinion, is a rejection of the newer highs, and we couldn't we couldn't get above that last resistance. Looking at the September S&P future contract, that would come in around uh, 1420, 1421, 1422. We did get up to 1425, but then we rejected. We're currently around 1406. We're down about five or six right now today. We're not free falling by any means. We're just couldn't have enough momentum to get above that level. I'll tell you about the technical analysis in one second, but let's shift back to economics. In America, we had existing home sales, which were better than last month, but disappointing slightly from expectations going into today. We did get 4.47 million. We were looking for 4.55 million. Last month was 4.37 million. So that was kind of disappointing. The only big thing is the second word of the day, which is the FOMC minutes. And people are going to be scrambling to see any kind of language in the minutes to explain when QE3 is coming, if it will come. I believe that the consensus is that it is not coming because our economic structure has been slightly, ever so slightly better than we were anticipating and probably don't need it. But we will search later today. If we're not going to get it, we could have more of a, a minor sell-off. We have nothing more on the docket until tomorrow. Going back to the technical analysis, remember we had a rejection of uh, 1421. If we can get a close above that, then we're going to power our way up to 1443. Remember, higher highs, higher lows, higher closes. We are definitely trending up, and we have been trending up. We are about seven, uh, about 11 to 12 percent higher in the stock market for the year, and that's quite a lot for a country or global economics that we need more stimulants from central banks. Keep that in mind. Also on the docket this week, tomorrow, is the European meeting, and people are very optimistic. That's why we got here in the stock market. On the technical, just so you know, if we can't go above 1421, 1403 is minor support, but more important would be uh, 1397, a close under 1397. We will power our way down to 1377. That, in my opinion, is a trend reversal point. That's where the bears would take control. Remember always, trading futures or option to futures involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors or traders. And you should be calling me. My number has been on the bottom of the screen the whole time. Please give me a call. We can talk about any market you want. Good luck and good trading.